Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, Drip Millions, why have you remained so bullish about Drip, so bullish and cheerful about crypto as a whole during what is the most brutal bear market in history? Well, I've got the answer to that and more in this video. And please stay tuned to the very, very end because I have an urgent message for all of you and it's something that I may need your help with. So please stay tuned for that. But first, if you're one of the 46% of people watching this video, enjoying it, but haven't subscribed, please rock bottom that subscribe button, leave me some love in the comments, and rest assured, I'll love you a long time if you do. So I don't know how many of you have been through a bear market into a bull market. I certainly have, and it was a time of mixed emotions. And what I can say is I learned so much during those times. The huge run-ups and the huge crashes down, you're left with sometimes regret that you didn't take enough profit. Now I've learned more, I would certainly take more this time round. And that's why I'm enjoying this bear market so much. It's given me the opportunity to accumulate the projects that I want to accumulate. It's been a nice long bear market and uh, I'm able to position myself as well as possible in those chosen projects and Drip is one of those. Because I'm seeing this as a very, very awesome opportunity to buy technically what seems to be the bottom and that's not a guarantee of course but in my opinion we are definitely moving in a different trajectory now going into 2024 so i'm enjoying the bear market in that it's given me so many opportunities to buy crypto at a reduced price and that is an opportunity that i feel is not going to come round again to this level i think this next bull run is going to be an absolute face melter in my opinion not financial advice but I don't think we're gonna see a bull market like this one ever again. So I think this one is gonna be driven by institutional money and it's gonna be an absolute tsunami of bullishness and green candles. People are gonna make a lot of money if they've been preparing during this bear market and position themselves and not getting too involved in the FUD, not getting too involved in all the fear that's been going around and staying true to your investment thesis like I've been encouraging people to do throughout if you have a plan, stick to it. Don't get shaken out by anyone. And I think that those that have been staying true to what they believe in and buying the fear, buying the blood, will potentially do very, very well. But what we need to remember is that once the institutions get involved, things can get really, really boring. And I do feel that's what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a monster ball run. I think it's going to blow everyone away. People are going to make a lot of money if they've been stacking their bags. But I think after that, I think it's going to become a lot more predictable and boring in the future. So I really want to take full advantage of this coming bull market, which I think is definitely going to come, in my opinion, and I don't want to miss out. So I am stacking like crazy right now. I am waiting for a little bit of a pullback because I do feel that's coming this week. Uh, you can bookmark this. I think it's coming. I think it's been so much euphoria, and that is when the market makers tend to uh, start to dissolve some of those euphoric longs. And I think that's exactly what is going to happen. So I'm just holding back a little bit this week to accumulate more at a lower price, hopefully, when that happens. We're starting to see a little bit of a sell-off now. I think Bitcoin reached sort of 35 plus thousand, and it's dropped down to 34,000 now. So we are seeing that already. And I do think that if we see anything around the 30,000 mark or below, it's going to be an absolute gift. So I'm definitely preparing for that. I did sell some uh, Bitcoin in the, over the last two days at around 35,000 because I'm going to buy back in at a lower price when the opportunity presents, which I think it will. So that's why I'm so cheerful. And that's why I've been so cheerful throughout. And I see drippers having real potential in this bull market. It's kind of stable around two cents right now. And I think it has a massive, massive upside if the utilities come out as planned, which I believe they will. And things like kitchen sink are just blowing people away right now. And I did go ahead and put the rest of that drip into the kitchen sink. If you saw my last video, you would see me just doing a quick demonstration of how it all works. Very, very simple. It's making me 1.5% per day on that. And I'm trying to build my bags right now in the bear market so that when the bull market comes, my daily yield is going to be much higher. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. And it's the same reason as I'm putting some PLS in the P-Drip Gardens because I believe that's going to be the same. I see a huge upside potential with PLS. And again, this is not financial advice, but I just want to have my bags big enough so that if it does go 100x, which I think is quite possible, then my daily payout from the P-Drip Garden is going to be pretty decent by the time we get to the peak of the bull market and I can start taking some serious profits. I'm not interested in claiming right now, I'm just going to save all my claims up. And the same 
goes for the kitchen sink and drip. I'm not interested in claiming drip at two cent. Really, really not. Not interested whatsoever. So I'm going to see how that plays out. And uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, where we go from here. But I may be the only person that kind of gets disappointed when they see huge green candles because it just means that I can't buy as discounted as I could the day before. So I've been a little bit down this week seeing these huge crypto pumps. Um, but it kind of gives you an insight into my psychology and why I've been so happy and cheerful during this bear market and why I've been so consistent with my drip content. I haven't cast my bullish drip shades aside. As you can see, I bought another pair of bullish drip shades. I'm in that mindset right now. And I will continue to be because I do see a huge upside for drip in the coming year or so. So I'll be just stacking as per usual and enjoying these discounted prices while they're here. And I really don't think they're gonna be here that long. I personally think a Bitcoin could be trading at around 40,000 plus, even as early as November. So Mr. Wilkins, Wilkins. Come, come, what comes, what comes? Hello, darling. All right. <laughs> Stop it. This way. Come on, good boy. But getting on to the important message that I wanted to share with you, you may or may not have heard that just yesterday something absolutely catastrophic happened in Acapulco in Mexico. And the reason I'm telling you this is that, as some of you know, I'm a permanent resident of Mexico and the place has a real place in my heart and Acapulco particularly because I tend to spend at least one month of the year there every year. I have friends there, uh, Mexican friends and expat friends there and it was hit yesterday with a category 5 hurricane. Basically it went from a typical tropical storm and within a couple of hours it had hit the land at a category 5 so I don't think that's ever happened before it's absolutely caused complete and utter devastation. There are basically no communications coming out there at all. I've got friends there who I can't get through to. There are tens of thousands of people that are without homes, without water, without shelter, without food. And the media's almost blacked out on it. There's virtually nothing coming here from the UK. Now I have my own opinion on the truth behind this story and how it went from just simply a tropical storm into a category five within hours and no one was warned about it. There was no media coverage, there was no alerts, nothing. And it's a very, very disturbing story. But I'm not gonna get too much into that right now. That maybe I'll say for the live stream. But the guys over at the Dollar Vigilante, I don't know if you've heard of them before, but they've set up a relief fund. It means that people can donate. They've got people on the ground out there just waiting to get food, water, cooking stuff, everything, all the basics. They're waiting to get them in there. There's people going in there with machetes and uh, chainsaws trying to get through all of the mess. The trees are kind of blocking the roads. They're not getting any aid from the government from what I've heard. So it's really, really dire times. And they've set up a website called Otis Recovery Fund. I will leave the link in the bio so you know what that is. You can donate in fiat. You can donate in crypto. They've also got a GoFundMe page as well. And they're getting some really, really good numbers in there right now. So they're gonna be sending aid in there uh, with their own team. This has nothing to do with the government, nothing to do with Red Cross, anything. These guys are really, really on the ball and they've helped in the past with disasters in the Acapulco area. So I'm gonna leave the link and if anyone wants to donate anything, they can. I've donated some Bitcoin to them and I'm just really, really hoping that my friends are okay. I've not managed to get through to them. There's no communications, no phone, no internet, nothing. And there's even an orphanage where every time we go to Acapulco, me and my wife, we go there, we donate stuff, we help, we play football with the kids and stuff. That's right on the beach and no one knows what's happened to those kids. Uh, everything could be underwater for, for what we know. No one knows anything. It's all kind of a, a locally funded project for something like 200 orphans. So that's gonna be one of the first places that they go and take aid to. So again, I'm gonna leave the website in the description. So if you wanna donate anything, even $10, anything, then please go ahead and do that. And just know it's all transparent. You'll be able to see exactly where the money's being sent. But these guys are doing everything they can to get food, water, and baby stuff and everything that's needed to help those people in Acapulco. So my thoughts are with them right now. I'm gonna to continue to try and contact 
by friends who live down in Bonfield, a little town just next to Acapulco, which apparently has been totally obliterated. Um, so we're going to see how things go. I'll keep you all updated on that. So thank you to anyone who helps with that. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Stay blessed, stay bullish, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.